Hey there, golf fanatics. Jeff Ritter here, coming to you from my academy at the Pronghorn Resort in Bend, Oregon. Up next, I got four ways to help you create a smoother start to your golf swing. So how often does this happen? It's your turn to play. You're staring at that little white ball as your muscles slowly turn to stone. You're getting very tight with your hands and your arms and your body. You're creating a lot of tension. You can't get the club head moving smoothly away from the ball, leading to less than ideal golf shots. Well, if this sounds like you, I've got four ways to help you create a more timely and smooth start to your golf swing through creating what we call a trigger. So a trigger is just a physical movement that lets your mind and body know it is time to go. So here's four that I think you can experiment with that'll really help your game. The first one is the trigger I use for my golf swing. When I'm ready to go, after I spend my time staring down my target, I look back to the ball, I put the club head on the ground, and now what I'm gonna do as my trigger, I'm gonna take my trail heel, lift it just a little bit off the ground, maybe about a half an inch or so. The moment the heel replants itself, that's my key to start my golf swing. So here's the first one in action. Staring down the target, down with the club head, up with the heel, down with the heel, and away we go. The second trigger you might want to try, we're going to steal from Gary Player, the Black Knight. That's why we're black for you guys today. So what Gary Player did, still does because he plays a lot of golf, is he starts his golf swing by taking that trail knee, bumping it towards the target a little bit, and then resetting it as he starts his backswing. So Gary Player would look something like this. Checking out the target, club head down, knee kicks in, and that starts the golf swing. Trigger number three. We're going to steal this one from Sam Sneed and also Matthew Wolf, who plays a lot of golf these days on the PGA Tour. So what those players do, or did, depending on who you're talking about, is start the swing with a little bit of a rotation of the hips towards the target and then back away. So to see that little hip twist in action, looking at the target, down with the club head, turn towards, turn away, and there we go with that one. The final one is simply what I call the touch and go. And it's really designed to make sure that we're not going to be spending hardly any time at all staring at this golf shot. So, getting ready. Staring down the flag, once in your gut you're like, man, I am ready to hit this shot. The moment the club head touches down, that's when you go. So there you have it. Four ways to incorporate a trigger into your pre-shot routine to create a much more smooth and timely start to your golf swing. Thanks so much for tuning in today. You got some work to do. If you have any questions or comments, drop them below. I'll answer as many as I can.